So tell tell me tell me what happened. We're at the uh, it's the last day of the Republican National Convention where it's. Uh, I don't even know what the day of the week it is. September 4th, 2008. We're down here in the bowels at the Captain Morgan Bar in the Ron Paul, Minnesota delegation uh, suite. (laughs) (laughs) And uh, we have, uh, tell tell, who are you guys? Chris Brober, CD5, and Adam Weigel, CD5 delegates from Ron Paul. And tell, what happened with the uh, Ron Paul picture? We had a picture at 4.30 this afternoon by the clock tower in the Excel Center of all the Ron Paul delegates from all the delegations, there was many of them that could make it. And we took the pictures, and after that we all gave one big yellow Ron Paul. Then we all went down and built a ball and we were just talking amongst ourselves. And, you know, within a, within a minute or so, there was like eight, eight to ten red hat became people amongst us and around us. And then, I, I, I didn't see it, but, but one guy, had a bag and the, the they wanted the cops came up and wanted to search his bag. They said if they said if he well, submits the search, search, he had to give up his credentials. What are you doing? Joel Talk. Another person. Boy, good major, good major. Hey. Well, we we looked. Oh, there was another right person right. too. Had a flag. A flag. And then he took that flag away from him. He said if he wanted the flag back, he had to forfeit his credentials to get it back. And Who told him that? The the police. The McCain. Where was this? Inside the perimeter here? Inside the Excel Center by the Black Tower in the entryway. And they took a flag from us? They took a flag from us. Not an American flag. It was a... I don't even think it was what, a what kind of flag? It's the Liberty flag from, from South Carolina. It's on four, I can't remember the port, but it's the navy blue one with the white crescent moon. Liberty. They took it away from us. And they still have it. They still yes. have it. Cops are notorious thieves. I hope you guys and know the that. Man, the man with the bag would not submit for five minutes. At least, at least five minutes, they, or unless he would submit his credentials. He finally submitted to the search to keep his credentials. But before they like started demanding right. searches, yeah. I noticed right away there was a dozen of these guys just purposely swarming through our crowd. They all had the earpieces and they were on full communication with each other. And the guy at the top of the stage was leading taking pictures of us. And, yeah, and they would peek into bags whenever they could. Even, so even before asking to search, they would try to peek like, 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 over the shoulder. One of the guys, when we were standing on the steps, he said, hey, get a picture yeah. of you. are all here. And he said, then he said, we're going to get this to Price or something like that. And to who? To Price. Somebody. One of their, yeah. one of their thugs. One of their uh, uh, liberty killers. Well, that's an interesting story, guys. It's called Party Unity. Yeah, but it's see, this isn't the first time this stuff has happened. Oh, I know it happens all the, the time. This is the owner of the flag.